On this week's episode of Dr. Marla and Friends, is there really an app for that? We explore if your smartphone can help you achieve your weight loss goals and fitness goals. And Dr. Daniel Drucker gives us a sneak peek on the latest research being done to help Canadians living with diabetes. Later in the show, should doctors and nurses engage their patients on social media? Our expert panel debates the guidelines currently in place. The key to weight loss and fitness success could be right in your pocket. Smartphone apps are getting millions into shape, and this week we're helping you decide if you should incorporate an app into your workout routine. My name is Ronan Levy, I'm 34 years old. Uh, I'm a lawyer and an entrepreneur, and I am a reborn gym goer. I used to go to the gym very regularly uh, for a number of years, and about a year ago, my gym habit kind of really dropped off. Let's get started. Warm up, arm circles, 30 seconds. Ready? It was definitely hard to get back into the gym routine. Once you have a habit established, it's important to maintain it, and when you lose it, it's hard to reestablish that habit. With some dogged determination and, and the help of Pump Up app, I got back into the routine for fairly quickly, actually. Pump Up, in a nutshell, is the easiest way to build a workout that's fit for your life. So we all know going to the gym, sometimes you don't have time, so maybe you only have 15 minutes at home, and uh, maybe you have a set of dumbbells, whatever it is, we're trying to build the personalized workout platform. So it doesn't matter who you are, how old you are, we find the workout that's right for you. It's time for a break. The app is a workout app and what it does is it helps establish different workout routines for you. So you download it from iTunes and uh, I understand it's going to be on Android devices as well in the coming months. And what you do is it asks you to identify if you're a beginner, intermediate, or advanced uh, gym goer. And then it asks you for your needs, so whether you're looking to establish better cardio workout, better um, muscle weightlifting workout, or anything else along those lines. Uh, and you enter it, you enter your status, what you want to achieve, how long you want a workout to be, and then it takes that information and it produces a workout for you that typically includes uh, a warm-up, the actual workout itself, uh, some core conditioning, and a cool-down as well. It's twofold, sort of. So it's to get the beginners uh, who have that barrier between going to the, work, uh, the gym and not knowing what to do. Um, and it's also for the intermediates or advanced who just need to change it up and, and are sort of getting bored with their static routine. So this is good for both beginners and people who have already been working out for a while. First round. Exercise ball, jackknife, grab, on exercise ball, 30 seconds. I do walk around with my iPhone and the app open and you open it up, you pick the routine you want to do uh, and it takes you through every exercise. It's got a, a written description as well as um, visual images to show you what exercise to do. Uh, it records the weight uh, that you're using or had, have used uh, and it also lets you record the number of reps you do. And you enter it, you go through the retreat routine, it tracks everything for you and then at the end of your workout it gives you a summary talking about what targets you hit, what targets you missed, how many calories you burned, uh, and it's a great way to just track all of your workouts and keep yourself motivated. Towards the time where I stopped going to the gym last May, uh, my workout routines had become relatively stale and they weren't nearly as engaging or fun and I didn't find as much reward from them. And so by introducing new workout routines that are, are really challenging but within my level, uh, it's made it way more fun to go to the gym. There's a lot of knowledge out there to be had and apps are helping to bring that to the masses, which are excellent. Uh, it's a lot of information though, and some do not know what to do with that information or how to better utilize it for their fitness level. Some of the cons of apps are it takes out the personal aspect of training, and individuals might need a little more individualized attention, especially if they're deconditioned or injured. They might need a little more personal training from an individual that can see their alignment and see their movement patterns and understand that certain things might not be safe for them. Apps are generally built on the healthy individual and there are individuals that are not that. They're great, they give tons of information and they can even push us beyond what we expected of ourselves, but there are limits to that. It's not a person and it can't think 
And so the expectations need to be uh, relative, right? Relative to the individual that's using the app. Those are, that are new to the gym, it gives them a little bit of information on proper form and alignment, uh, sets up an exercise program for them so they don't just walk around the gym aimlessly not knowing exactly what they're supposed to be doing. We've seen that a few times. So there is an app for that. If you'd like more information on this and anything you see on the show, head on over to our website. Coming up on Dr. Marla and Friends, Dr. Daniel Drucker shares some of the latest research being done to help the 9 million Canadians living with diabetes or pre-diabetes. But first, we'll answer this question. How much exercise should the average teen do a day? After the break.